Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Today I just want to go over the top end function and some nuances to making this uh, calculate as you want it to inside of Power BI. What we want to do here, what I want to show you here, is how to basically utilize it as like a, a virtual ranking function. Um, to generate really interesting insights um, based on some sort of ranking logic on the fly. So what I've done here is I've just done a bit of a bit, bit of setup here. We'll, 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 we will work through it. I'll actually I'll actually delete this one and we'll, we will um, get it up again. Basically, what I wanted to show here, <coughs> and what I wanted to show it dynamically. I wanted to show, and let's let's just let's just get this down to its, its pure set. So I've got all my revenue here, right? So I've got, um, I can just create a bit of conditional formatting uh, and we'll go some data bars. So I've got uh, all my revenue per customer here, okay? But what I wanna see, I wanna see here, um, see, see what sort of weighting of my revenues goes to say my top um, locations that we buy from okay so this is this is demo data but um, it will it will it will certainly make sense when we work through um, the logic here what we're trying to what, we, what exactly we're trying to achieve uh, so what I wanted to do is say for instance this customer bought from a range of locations what I've done is I've gone and worked out how many locations uh, that that customer has purchased from so I've just done account rows values here. So basically, for every single customer, for every single context um, of a customer, we're we're working out every single unique place they bought from. That's what this index is is about, and then we're counting the rows. So that's just basically, it's basically just like a distinct count. But this is actually, in my view, a slightly better way to write it. It, it actually um, it actually calculates things a little bit quicker. I find. So I'm just going to put that in here. So so we can see here that this particular person bought from six cities, right? And so what I want to do is I want to do some internal ranking within the six cities and say, okay, how um, how many how much revenue did we did this person um, do we derive from this person at each of these locations? I want to then rank them virtually and only calculate up the top two and then the bottom two. Okay, and that's what this that's what top end allows you to do. It allows you to do this uh, internal or virtual ranking inside of a formula. Okay, so let's have a look at this particular formula here. I'll drag it in and we'll have a look at the results. So you see here now that this is calculating revenue, but now only for the top two cities. Okay, now let, let's have a look at how I did this. Quite and it's am it is actually amazing how how easily this can be done. So it's, it's quite a quite a complex calculation if you think about it. How easily it can be done. You know, and how quickly it happens just with such a simple formula, and that's that's just the power of top end. And so basically, um, just like with everything inside a calculate, I want to calculate total revenue, but I want to calculate it in a different context, and that's what calculate enables you to do. I want to I want the context to just be the top two cities, and this is how I do it. So I go top end two because you put in your first parameter is how much um, uh, the the total um, ranking that you want to show. Or, or calculate virtually. So this is uh, this is just going to be two. If I say put four here, that would obviously return four um, for the top four cities. But I'm only going to do two here. So let's just put that back. Then this is a very crucial part of this. We need to make sure we are only iterating through the places that each customer at each different context has purchased. So that's why I've used the index here rather than utilizing something that would say be in my model so say say something in my sort of regions table here instead of something that was a lookup table i wanted to make sure that i was actually only counting not not i don't want to count every single um, region i want to count the regions that this individual customer has purchased at so that's that's that's, that's, that's a really key part of this formula if you uh, say put values and you put say the actual city name, which is this is this parameter here, you're going to get very very different results. The results you're going to get are you're going to get the total revenue from the top two um, city sales overall, not for each individual customer. Okay, so that's why 
and getting this part of the function top end right is a very very crucial okay so we've got delivery agent and it then we're going to rank them based on total revenue or virtually and then we're going to go descending so that what that's going to do is the um the highest value is going to be one i think yeah and then um, we'll see in a second the other the other way around as well so basically what this is doing is it's creating a brand new context for each different row here for each individual result it's basically doing that virtual ranking and then creating a virtual table of only the two top uh, region, uh, uh, cities that we're selling into or locations that we um, that this customer has purchased off us from okay and we can, and now I'll show you I'll show you how we can check it in a second now I wanted to also do the bottom right okay so let's have a look at this one You'll see here that this is actually exactly the same, but all you need to do to calculate bottom is change, is change that from descending to ascending, and that's all you got to do. So there's no there's no bottom end, there's only top end, and then you just adjust the descending to uh, ascending there. Okay, so how do we how do we actually know this is right? Okay, so we can we can have a look here. So for example, right. Ryan Kim had four sales cities that that he bought off uh, locations that they they bought off us. So in theory, this plus this should equal this, and it does, right? The 146,000 plus 38,000 equals 185,000, okay? We can take this, we can actually take this further, so check this out. So what we can do is, I'm just going to copy this again. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these. I'm actually going to bring in the cities that we have bought from here, okay? So I'm going to actually bring in that particular... Um, dimension into my report here and I'm um, just to show you that this is um, this is correct I'm going to bring the total cities that they bought off us as well so we can actually see okay so for example right Aaron Aaron Bradley here let's let's just do a bit of filtering here as well so Aaron Bradley purchased off us in four different locations okay so there should be four different iterations here one two three four yes there is okay these are all of the different um, amounts that they spent at each different location okay there's four different amounts and these will all equal the 173 but the top two will be say 51 plus 72 which is one 124 odd and the bottom two should equal 48 okay so it's all it's a in terms of sort of like auditing your numbers it all it all checks out right so I think I think I'm, I'm going to wrap it up there. I, I just wanted to show you just the, you know how you can use top end in a really effective way. There, there's a few other ways, but this is um, you know in its in its um, you know, in its simplest sense that a, a really a really you know effective way to utilize it quite quickly. You know just utilizing it as a um, to change the filter context or to change the context of the calculations within Calculate. You can use top end to also create some um, sort of ranking visuals, which I've, which I've shown um, in, a, in another video, and I've shown a few times at, at say learning summits, etc. You can also utilize this um, and wrap it with say count rows as well, um, and just you utilize the, the the virtual table calculation at every different context here, um, and then wrap it in a, lot, in, in, a, in a different. You, know, you could wrap it in say um, count rows. You could. Uh, utilize this in say sum x or average x etc so lots of lots of different and cool ways you can use it and another example of those um, previously before so if you want to do do a quick search on on youtube um, or just on google uh, you'll, you'll be able to find those too okay hopefully you enjoyed this one um, enjoyed uh, running through just a bit a few more nuances of the top end really valuable function to use inside of power bi so uh, all the best all the best in us utilizing this yourself um, Okay, I look forward to talking to you next time. If you liked uh, the, the content, definitely throw the video a like. Really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Okay, talk to you soon.